Hi folks, Dave here. Today I have the Vitamin Flash Speed 1500 on my workbench. This was sent to me by Vitamin for testing. I do not get any sales commissions or payments for making this review. So the reason why I accepted this unit is it has an unusual feature of a 1500 watt AC fast charge built in. In theory, you could charge this thing up with your gas generator and then turn the generator off and continue running off of the battery power. Of course, it also has a solar input. So this unit has a 1548 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery in it. It has a 12 volt car outlet and it has two DC outputs. Just curious, let's see what the DC output looks like. 12.7 something volts, it looks good. On the input side, we have a built in switch mode power supply for the 1.5 kilowatt fast charging. That's an IEC AC input receptacle right there. I want to test that to see if it really works. This is a 200 watt car charging or DC input port, and this is your Anderson style uh, solar input. That's 400 watts for solar panels. There are two USB-C type outputs. It has three USB-A outputs, 5 volt, 2.4 amps, as well as a quick charge USB-A port. And I'm gonna verify that there is output on the USB, so let's do that. Five volts. And let's try a USB of solar iron here and just see what happens. This is a TS-80P USB-C. Let's plug that in and see what happens. USB-C is working great. Three AC outputs for 1500 watts output and it's a 110 volt 60 hertz pure sine wave. I've turned on all the outputs. Looks all right, it's a pure sine wave as expected. I think the noise is coming from the scope, most likely, not the inverter itself. That waveform looks fine. We're getting about 110 volts RMS, 60 point two hertz. Here we have a connection for a jumper cable, if you have that, which I don't have that. This is for auxiliary batteries. Vitamin sells an auxiliary battery pack or battery packs that you can stack up with this unit to expand the capacity, and I won't be testing that in this video. One interesting feature of the Flash Speed 1500 is it includes this sort of a storage bin or trunk. I think that's a really neat idea. You can put all your cables in there, like so, and then you don't have to worry about losing them because they'll always be there when you need them. Really cool feature. There's these handles built into the side. We have some pretty robust looking ventilation here. There's a fan behind there. And on the back, there's an integrated lantern or flashlight with three brightness levels, as well as a strobing or signaling option. I have a connection to AC power right here, 121.1 volts. And I'm gonna plug in the integrated charging circuit into the AC outlet and see how much power I get. Or a relay click, 18 watts, 19 watts, 170, 300, 400, okay, 600, 700, it's over a thousand watts now, 1200, 1300, 1400, wow. Yeah, this thing is actually uh, no joke. I must say I'm very impressed with this unit already. It says it will finish charging in 0.1 hours, that's like six minutes. So 1531 watts indicated, 84%. Well, they're telling the truth about the fast charge. I was a little bit skeptical it could do 1500 watts. They're not kidding. So if you have a gasoline generator and you're having a power outage, you can charge this thing in about an hour and turn your gas generator off and keep going. That's amazing. Very impressive. And yes, it does have cooling fans and you can hear them. However, at 1500 watts charge, I'm not going to complain whatsoever. It's just been a few minutes and it's already up to 88%. So basically, as far as the fast charging capability, uh, I have to give that a huge thumbs up. I'm very impressed. It does exactly what it needs to do. Okay, we've reached 91%. I've never seen a portable power station charge this quickly. I think it's time to go ahead and do some testing of the output now. Okay, quick AC load test just to make sure the inverter is working. We're doing 764 watts, 1.6 hours left. I'm just using a space heater to do the load testing. And don't try this at home. I made my own temporary makeshift cable here because it didn't come with the Anderson solar cable. So I just kind of cobbled one together here with some alligator clips. I'm getting 126 watts. And just to be clear, it's a separate input. There's three inputs. The auxiliary battery connection looks like a 8S system. So it's got eight lithium iron phosphate cells in series. And I'm reading that voltage on the auxiliary battery port. But can it cook? That's the real question. 
I'm not a cook, so I'm just using food that was prepared for me, but I think it's good enough for the test. So I've got a 1000 watt toaster oven here with some bread and cheese and vegetables on it. Then I'm also going to steam some broccoli in this hot pot. Okay, I'm just running the hot pot first and that's using about 500 watts according to the readout. Of course, that's probably taking into account the consumption of the inverter itself, not just the appliance. 111 volts approximately. We're going to be right at 1500 watts. I'm going to put it on about 300 and I'll just turn it on. Okay, we're close to 1500 watts, but not quite. Well, we're cooking now, and I'm just going to let this uh, machine work and see how it performs. The Flash Speed 1500 should be able to handle a 1500 watt load. It's got very good ventilation, and I can tell that because it's got quite a loud fan. Many people complain about the fan noise on these units, but I don't because I know that that fan is the difference between a unit that lasts a long time and runs at a good temperature, or one that overheats quickly and the components fail. So when you're pushing one and a half kilowatts of power, you really need some kind of a fan because this is all closed up inside of a box. I'm not too much of an expert on steaming vegetables, but I guess there's a first time for everything, so... How hard can it be? Well, the bread is cooking, the vegetables are steaming, and the unit's running at 1,452 watts of power, so let's see how it performs. Currently we're at 1,455 watts or something like that, and the voltage is holding at 111 volts AC, so that's pretty good. Of course, we only have 0.7 hours of time to cook like this. Okay, it's been a while, and the Beatleman 1500 states there's 0.6 hours left. Still 1,449 watts, 1,455 watts, it keeps jumping around. 66% capacity. Actually, I didn't charge this thing quite all the way up, I did that on purpose. So far, it's working well. Okay, I think that uh, bread is done by now, so I should be able to turn this off. Well, it turns out... Toasting bread isn't the most difficult thing, so the bread is pretty much done. It looks tasty. However, the vegetables are going to need more time. Currently we're doing 519 watts, 1.6 hours of runtime left, 61% on the battery. So far this flash speed 1500 is working pretty well. My thinking is if you have a power outage, this is a great sight to see, especially if you don't have to listen to a gasoline generator running constantly. If you use the generator to charge that thing up really quickly, you can switch the generator off and cook your food and run your appliances and you don't have to listen to it run all day. I think this is an amazing piece of technology. Well I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this broccoli looks to be done and on the Vitamin 1500 still 1.4 hours of runtime left, 523 watts from the steamer. The toaster oven is finished running. Still 54 percent capacity. I was about 89% I think when I first started the test. So I used about not quite half of the battery capacity in doing this cooking here. But considering I can charge it right back up in less than an hour, that's not a problem. Based on my experience with this unit versus over 40 other solar generators and power stations that I've tested and owned, I would say I would give this one a solid thumbs up. My concern with solar generators and portable power systems is always the long-term longevity of the product. The inverter does not struggle under a 1500 watt load and it can absolutely run anything up to 1500 watts. The fast charge feature really impressed me and I think that it's actually one of the main points of the unit. If you need something that charges quickly, please note that I don't get sales commissions for sales of this unit 
and I'm not paid for making this review, so I'm just sharing my experiences and my opinion. If you're interested in buying the unit, there's a purchase link provided by Vitamin down in the description, as well as a discount code. Thanks for watching my review, and thanks to Vitamin for providing the product sample for this test.